Hello. Today we're going to go over um, some basics of PowerPoint, uh, Microsoft PowerPoint. So uh, we have our tabbed interface here. We have the tabs and the, then the ribbon below. Um, so if we go to File, we're going to start off by creating a new um, a new presentation here. So we go to File, New. Uh, now in PowerPoint we have a lot of different ways to create presentations. So we can go with a blank presentation, recent templates, sample templates, themes, uh, new from existing. Okay, so we have lots of different things, ways that we can create our, our first uh, presentation. In general I think it's best to go with a theme. So we click theme. We can go ahead and click on a certain style of presentation and this gives you just a basic you know, set of fonts, set of colors, because um, remember, a presentation is not a Word document. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's something that you'd. Pr it, it's meant to be presented in front of people. So, um, uh, you, the just the colors and the design of the of the presentation itself can affect the message that you're trying to give with it. Okay, so we're going to just scroll down here and just choose one. Let's go with uh, grid, and then we go over and click create. Okay, so we have a basic presentation here. Um, so notice that I can go ahead and click. So when you when you first start um, start with a presentation, it has a single slide. Okay, so this is our slide sorter over here. Uh, this is our main window, and then this is click to add notes. So these are the three main areas in the slide sorter. I can add a new slide. So I write. I can right click in here and add a new slide or add new section. Um, I can also add a new slide from the home tab here. Okay, This gives me a little bit more, um, this new slide gives me a little bit more options, right? Okay, so I'm going to title slide, title and content, section header, to content, comparison, title only. Okay, so there are lots of different things that I can do here. Okay, so we can go title and content for the second one. Okay. So we have our, our two slides here. So let's go ahead. Um, we're going to do a quick presentation on um, on puppies. So okay, we're going to call puppies, and the subtitle is why we love them. Uh, and our footer is going to say a puppy love production. Okay, so this is our first title. So we have puppies, why we love them. Okay, so we're going to go on to the second slide here. Notice it says click to add title. Okay, we're going to put in puppies again. Okay, and notice that the, the, the style of this presentation is all inside the theme. Notice I didn't have to to add any color, I didn't have to add any um, font or anything in here, and I get a very nice looking presentation just based upon the theme that I selected. Um, okay, so I have a section here. Uh, why we love their faces. The first is their eyes. Second is their noses. Third is their tongues. Okay, and then I hit, I'm hit. i hitting enter each time, and now I'm going to do shift tab to go back out, of course, in my, um, uh, you guys know how to, you should work with, um, you should know how to work with an outline. So if you click tab, that moves it in, in, uh, in, in the outline. If you hold down shift and click tab, it moves out in the outline. If you hit enter, you go to the next line. Why we love their tails. Okay, I think it's the wagging myself. The wagging, the pointing, um, the emotion. Okay, so there we have it. So we have uh, a couple of slides here. We're going to add back in our foot footer. Okay, so we have our um, our two slides here. Okay, now let's say that we wanted to um, on our 
uh, on our second slide here, notice that we do have a problem with the font in that it is too small. So we can go ahead up here, we can just click to increase the font size, and notice we want our content to fill up the entire slide. All right, now let's say you can, uh, let's go back to our slide sorter here, and we can actually copy and paste whole slides. So we can right-click copy, and then right-click uh, paste. Okay, just like that. So then I have puppies, two copies of this puppy slide. Um, also in the notes section, so notes are a little bit different. So notes, um, in fact, are not going to show during the presentation but notes can be shown on a handout, and we're going to look at printing a handout in just a second. So notes would be like teacher notes, like things that if you were going to give this presentation to someone else, you could put um, sure to focus on the wagging. Okay, You could put those notes, or you could put uh, for more information, go to Wikipedia slash uh, dog noses okay um, so you could uh, you could put in this type of thing you could put in notes talking about the content up here giving more detail or more explanation the notes this would not be shown during the presentation okay so that's your basic stuff we have our basic you know uh, font editing this whole uh, and um, just everything that you can do in a Word document you can do in the content area of a slide. Okay, so let's go to Insert. Okay, so say that we want, um, let's say we go down, we place our cursor in the slide, so you see how I can place the cursor? And let's say we go to New Slide and we make a blank slide. Okay, so Title Only. Of course, I had my puppies. Okay, now, now we're in, we're kind of on the slide and we can go to Insert. Um, and we can do all kinds of things, okay? So we could do smart art, okay? And this is going to give us kind of uh, cool graphic designs, okay? Um, that we can put as part of our uh, part of our presentation. No, it, notice that it stays within the same theme, which is great, okay? Um, and we just add text in here, of course. Um, so we could put. Um, Okay, so we can add in things like this, like the smart art. Um, okay, so that's the insert. Uh, we can also do text boxes, of course. Uh, and if we click the text box, we actually draw in a new text box. Um, so you have a lot of uh, the insert is where if you if you're not satisfied with the new slide uh, stuff, then your insert is where you'd actually go to add more things in. Okay, we can do equations, video, audio. Okay, so let's go to design. Um, this is where we can switch theme. Okay, so if we want to select all of our slides and we want to change the theme on all of them, okay, notice that we can go to very different themes. Notice that just switched all of our um, all of our slides to a different theme right off the bat. Um, okay, we can go. I mean, we can really, really, really change things around if we if we so chose. All right, so that's the themes. We can go back in and we can change the theme to whatever we like. Uh, transitions, this is new in this version of uh, PowerPoint. It's really great. So let's say that I want to put a, a fade transition on all my slides. Okay, so I can notice what I just did there. I clicked on slide one, I held down the shift key, and then I clicked on slide four. That selects all my slides. I can also select them individually. So I can hold down the click, I can hold down the control key, click, click, click and they're all selected. Now what I can do is I can make them all a push uh, transition. Okay, so we have our transition. Now watch the preview. So I click on push, I click on preview. Okay, so now if I go to the next slide, I just click on preview, right? The slide three, I click on preview. Okay, now what I can do, also with transitions, I can do a couple things, okay? So I can add sound to the transition. I can add sound to the transition. 
Um, I can also add um, uh, I can add when it when it um, actually will transition. So this is an example of where if you don't want to uh, have it advance on a mouse click, if you wanted to have it advance after a certain amount of time, you can also do that, or you can do both. Okay, so you can say um, you can say after one second advance or two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten seconds. Okay, um, so let's say that we do uh, we do f one second. Okay, and let's go ahead. Whoops. Let's go ahead and preview it. Okay, and there's lots of different options here. Uh, okay. Uh, now, second is this animations. Um, so that once you get your transitions in effect, you know I wouldn't go crazy with this. You have to remember your audience. You know if they're uh, if they're students, maybe go crazy with the transitions. They'll like it. Uh, if it's a business uh, presentation, of course you wouldn't want to go with the transitions. Uh, anything you know you want to you want to definitely keep your audience in mind. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and take a look at the at the animations now. If you're really working on a um, a presentation for quite a while, um, what you might want to do is you might want to add in these animations. This is going to start taking a much longer time to create a presentation, though. So let's let's go to our animation pane. Okay, so let's say that we want to fade in this portion of the text. Okay. And then the next one we want to uh, fade in this portion of the text. Whoop! So that's two. Okay. So notice how my animation starts to build up here. So I just highlighted, I clicked fade, and notice my animation pane. Then it starts to uh, starts to show up. So if I click play. Okay. So you notice that now my text. Oops. If I click play, notice my text starts to fade in, uh, one after the other. Okay, so that's something that you can um, you can experiment with and get a good uh, good idea of how to use that animation. Um, next is slideshow. Okay, this is when you're actually going to present the um, the content. I'm not going to do this now because we're on the video, but actually you just click from beginning or from current slideshow. This is if you've actually opened this up and now you want to present it to an audience. And what it will do is if you click from beginning, it takes the presentation to a full screen on your computer or projector, and you can you can begin to do that. Um, it also has a lot of different options here, like rehearse timings and that type of thing. Um, okay, review. Uh, this has a, basically ways to translate or make comments on presentations. This is if you're working in a group and you need uh, multiple people to kind of weigh in on a particular presentation. Uh, view. Uh, this is actually a great um, uh, um, this gives you a way different ways to view the interface okay so um, for example we want normal slide sorter so this just gives us the slides notes page reading view okay and I clicked escape to get out of reading view so back to normal Okay, now finally, let's take a look at how we can print this presentation. So if we've gone through, we've gotten a great presentation, we, but we want to hand the people something while they're doing the presentation. It's a common thing in classes, right? So we want to print. Okay, uh, we go into the print dialog and notice we can get the number of copies. We can select whether to print all slides, custom range. Then we can also decide to, how exactly to print. So we can print full page slides. We can print multiple slides per page. So notice I only have four slides, but this would be six slides per page. Um, this would be six slides per page there. Um, you can also do notes, uh, notes page. So this gives us one slide and then any notes that are that were uh, inside uh, with the slide itself. Okay, so you have quite a few print options there. Um, Okay, so that's our introduction to Microsoft PowerPoint. I hope it helps. Uh, it's a great program.